Now, what do we do about it? That's the question. When I'm trying to create less pain for somebody, I try and think of the opposing muscles, right? So there's one, one way to attack a tight muscle is to stretch that muscle directly. The other way to loosen a tight muscle is to activate the muscles that are opposing it, right? Because if I activate the muscle, you can think about that in your hamstrings or your, and your, versus your quads, or you could think about that in your biceps versus your triceps, right? I can use the opposing group of muscles to stretch or keep or maintain the length that I've achieved in the tight muscle. Yep, so one way that you might go about is not just thinking about, I have to stretch that all the time. I could think about if I shortened the muscles on the other side of my coracoid process in this case, right? Which is gonna be the scapula is the coracoid process. So now we're thinking scapula. All right, if I then want to pull coracoid process backwards, I'm gonna turn my person around here, right? So now I am gonna try and pull coracoid process, which is down here, backwards. What muscles am I going to use to do that? Mm -hmm. Rhomboids is one, exactly. I can use lats is another. I can use lower trapezius, middle trapezius, lower trapezius is another. And so what fantastic Pilates exercise that's all over on all the apparatus that we do that does all that? Rowing, right? Back rowing, chest expansion, if you do it well, chest expansion if you do it wrong is terrible, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot pulling down our chicken wings actually. So all of that opens, puts on stretch, but it also activates um, the, scapular region, right? So activates all those muscles that are going to come in to help the scapula come back um, and come down. So, and also serratus posterior, which is way down here. Uh, and the posterior inferior we have and posterior superior we have down here. Um, we can look at those again in more detail. I'm trying to think if I even have them in this module, or if you remember back to that thoracic module, we saw some of those there too. Um, but all of those that can help stabilize the scapula towards its, here's straight, it's anterior. We can see right here, um, all the muscles that help stabilize our shoulder blades back and down are gonna help loosen the tight pec minor, so the, the anterior structure.